How's your fishing experience going? I don't get a fishing experience. I get a untangling fixing experience as usual. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Hey guys, good morning to you. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Um, something we always do or try to do is do a breakfast before uh, Thanksgiving Day. This year, a little different, but we're still going to try to do some of our family traditions. But we're going to do our favorite breakfast we do in the bus. I'm interrupting Kyle's cooking for just a second to remind you guys, if you want to see more of Kyle's cooking and be up to date on when our videos come out, click that notifications button. That way you are completely informed and you never miss a delicious bite of what Kyle has to say for recipes. Now, back to your regularly scheduled Thanksgiving breakfast. Uh, grits, eggs, and bacon. So. Real simple, but really good and moderately healthy. So I'm gonna start with my grits. These are instant grits. I kind of just eye them at this point. Um, but you can kind of, I cook these in the microwave so I don't have to boil another pot of water. Me and Jen like to do fried eggs, but I usually fry, uh, scramble a few for the kids. So I usually do that first. I keep it pretty simple with our eggs, fresh scrambled eggs, my lovely garlic salt that I pretty much use on everything. Nice generous portion of that. And then just some black pepper. Whisk them together. Get my skillet going. A little bit of melted butter. Some of you are probably like, what the heck is grits? But it's definitely a southern thing, but we love it. But I put my own little spin on it. So start first with a big old helping of butter. Some heavy whipping cream from Walmart. Generous dollop of cream cheese. All right, and then my normal spices that I like to use. Actually add a little salt to this too because grits take a lot of salt. They absorb it really a lot. Combine. These smell fantastic. All right, put these to the side. Jen is working on our bacon. We really love to use this stuff. It's um, fully cooked bacon. All you have to do is heat it in the microwave. It's definitely a little more expensive, but it's really good. And cooking in a bus, you don't have the ventilation you do in a home, so it really saves us on cleanup and smell and yeah. It's something we've been using for a while and we really like it. We're really good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to fry us up a few eggs and then we should be able to eat. Alright, for frying our eggs, we keep it pretty simple. Start with a little butter base. A little butter. Butter. A little butter. The seasoning. Me and Jen like to do ours in a bowl form. So basically, we layer grits on the bottom, eggs, and then bacon, and then we did some green onions. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Let's get to eating. How's your food? Right. Good. What'd you get, Ben? Got the same thing. Got the same thing. How's mommy doing over here? I'm good. I got gluten-free pancakes and my grit bowl. Grit bowl. Mm. I have not laughed this hard in a really long time. Taking, oh, sorry. Taking three kids and Kyle fly fishing 
has been the highlight of my week between Kyle getting two hooks stuck in him because children cast them and oh yeah I got my hook stuck so three hooks <laughs> stuck in him um, the people are next to us are just like shaking their heads but you know we're having a great time Eli fell in the water it's uh here comes little fisherman now his boots are full of water <laughs> it's Mommy. Been great. Mom. Ben got his lure stuck in a tree so Kyle's rescuing the lure Hey, Daddy! What? Hey, Daddy. Please, guys, just I don't know your kids. I don't know your kids. You can't help it. They were catching the fish. <laughs> How's your fishing experience going? I don't get a fishing experience. I get a untangling fixing experience, as usual. Man, that water's pretty cold. There's more water in the boot than in the river. All right, there you go. Let, let's try again. Good job. Reel it in. Travels and Uncle Jonathan, and so we're gonna have us a down home country uh, Thanksgiving. Let's get to eat. So, what do you got? We got some turkey, some apples, and sweet uh, potato casserole, and mashed potatoes. All right, TT, what, what's I got your the bill? Thanksgiving deluxe. Mm. I got the turkey dressing, green beans, and the uh, Sweet potato casserole. All right, Kyle. Apples, corn, turkey, and taters. Oh. Mm. This looks delicious. Mm. What do you think? I haven't tried the chicken yet, but I know it's going to be good. What do you think, Eli? Ben, you like it? Yeah. That pie. How's that pie? Awesome. Look at how blessed that is. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. I'm tired. And I'm full. And I feel really fat. It was yummy though. Oh, it was so good. That pumpkin pie was some of the best pumpkin pie I've ever had in my entire life. It was delicious. But yeah. it's kind of different not having to clean up or not having to prepare food. I can't remember the last time that I had that luxury. Different? It's nice. Yeah. Like not having to... I do the cleaning, you do the cooking. So yeah. that was freaking awesome. Yeah, it was really nice. So, but we want to know though, you guys answer on this poll right here up above. Um, do you pig out on Thanksgiving? Do you wear your stretchy pants and you know, it's the Lord's calories at that point? Or... Do, are you conservative and you are sensible for Thanksgiving and you eat small amounts? Because normally I eat small amounts during the rest of the year, but on Thanksgiving, mm, I wear my stretchy pants that don't button and I put the feed back on. What about you? You know me. I know. You eat a lot for Thanksgiving. But anyway, uh, yeah, so we want to know, do you guys eat a lot or are you sensible for Thanksgiving? Answer up here on this poll. Well, good morning, everyone. We are on our way to go to Bass Pro Shop because Kyle's got some deals that he found that he wants to go seek out, I guess. Yeah, happy 
day after Thanksgiving Day, everybody. Yeah, um, yeah we're leaving at 11 o'clock when everybody else is probably finishing up. But I'm not all about that hustle and bustle stuff. That's no. Not really my speed, so. We figured we would just wait, get out after the crowds leave, and hopefully it won't be so bad, but we've got our masks ready, and uh, I think we're going to have a good day. Mm, we'll try. We'll find some stuff to buy. We didn't really score any good deals. We went into a couple stores and there was just too many people, so we got the heck out of there. But we picked up a hitchhiker. Ooh. What's a hitchhiker? That's we me. Pick, we picked oh, up yeah. RV Steve Travels. I don't know if I was we uh, kidnapped him and now we're gonna go grab some lunch. That's so Yay! You know, this Thanksgiving has been very different. Um, it's been different than our past Thanksgivings, but honestly, it's been amazing. It, it's been starting a new tradition of who knows what the heck's gonna happen. I mean, this Thanksgiving was Kyle's first Thanksgiving away from his parents in 34 years. So like, that's a huge thing. And we're immensely thankful for all of you guys. You know, all of our subs who have followed us and are there every single live giving us love and, and comments and we're eternally grateful and thankful for you. So on this day of thanks, thank you guys. You know, you're really, really awesome. It came. What? <gasps> it came. Let's go show them. Are you sure you want to? Maybe. I don't know if we should show you guys. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you're ready for this. We ordered something, and it's here, finally. Christmas came early. So right. do you want to explain to them what actually came? I'm not gonna, sh I'm gonna show. All right, so I have been wanting to upgrade our camera game for quite a while now, and I said I wasn't gonna do it until I found a camera that just made sense for us. And I finally feel like I found that one and I bought it. So we've been saving up for a while and we really wanted to up our quality of content. Which, which, hang on, hang on. This man, you guys have to understand that this man takes three months to buy a pair of tennis shoes. So I know that this seems like, oh, it's just a, it's just a camera that we bought. But for this guy, actually clicking the buy and add to cart and buy button is really huge because he doesn't do this sort of thing. He uh, flip flops and whatever else and talks himself out of buying it. So he bought it before he even told me, which I'm actually very proud about. So back to your regularly scheduled Kyle opening the box. Anyway, so yeah, I found a camera that was- There's a cat. Oh, that's a pretty cat. Oh, it's a kitty. Hey, kitty. Yo, freaking out right now. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh my gosh, it's a pretty kitty. Oh, it's just hanging around. Meow. Oh yeah? The pretty kitty with the blue eyes? Oh, Theodore's gonna be pissed. Okay, sorry, there was a cat. So anyway, yeah, we bought this camera. We've had it for about two, two and a half years, and we're gonna keep it as a backup. And anyway, I bought dun, 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 the Sony A7C, which is a full frame 4K camera. It's the smallest full frame camera ever produced, and I'm pretty excited about it. And it has a flip screen. Yep, and then we're matching it and pairing it with a Sony 20, 20 lens, uh, what is it, 20 millimeter lens. I'm um, really excited about this. I think you guys will really see a huge upgrade in our quality of our videos. At least that's the hope anyway. So, really excited to get this thing going. So hopefully the next video after this one will be completely shot on this new setup. Yay! Yeah, pretty excited. Yeah, let Kyle know in the comments how proud of him you are. Like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna spend the next, like, three hours playing with the damn camera. But, um, I am proud that he spent the money and bought the darn camera. But I think that's gonna do it for this video, y'all. Yeah. We are, again, very thankful um, for you guys out there. We love you more than more than you even know. Uh, we love RVC Travels. We are thankful and grateful that we can be up here with him during this time. And uh, yeah. yeah. 
Thanks so. for watching, guys, and we will see you guys tonight. Bye. Bye-bye.